this is my honest review for one click lifetime deal i want to help you decide if you should buy this or not because it might be a great deal or not so let's go check it out right now what's up everyone this is sas master and i want to help you decide with this honest review of one click so i've generated a video for each one of the templates that they have so you can check it out and see if you like it this is going to be no bs video and i will tell you what i like about and dislike about it so let me start off by showing you the AI videos that I've generated for each one of these templates so you can see if it's the right fit or not. OK, so this one is the split screen video, right? So what you have to do is upload a video and it's going to add it in the top screen. And then you add like a catchy video where someone stays and watches it. All right. Now, let me show you how this looks. I want to talk about a feat that some may have concluded must be a mathematical impossibility. That's right. We're bringing calculator to iPad by leveraging what makes iPad so unique. OK, so the idea of the split screen video is that you're kind of catchy watching the bottom thing, hearing what's going on the top. And I'll be honest with you, um, I personally hate these videos because practically it's videos that, that were stolen or repurposed by someone else and they have no unique purpose to it. But to be honest, again, these videos do have a lot of popularity. They have a bunch of views, a lot of comments and a lot of engagement because they capture you with what they have there. So in a sense, it works. But in my personal opinion, I hate these type of videos. All right. So being honest out there and the next one I generated is this one where you can do kind of like a message talk there and here and there. And you can add two voices. It's kind of conversational there. You got the Instagram one and a what's that dating app? Um, uh -oh, Tinder. Yeah, you have those two options. In this case, I just made a Instagram type one. I had a recipient as a name. You can add whatever you want at your own image and set the timing and the operator. All right. So let me click play. I love you. I don't love you. Why? Hello? Anyone there? I love you so much. I don't LO. OK, so I wrote all of that. Each one of these messages is super easy to create. So in my personal case, I hate to say this, but I'm not as creative as some of these people. But if you were creative, I'm sure that if you create a conversation that's funny, I'm sure people would be engaged with that. All right. And it's super easy to create, which is one of the ones I like. All right. Next one is the you add a script into it and it'll play a video in the background. And there you go. Heading to Japan. Avoid being rude by following these tips. One, don't tip. It's not customary. Two. Keep phone calls quiet in public. Three, avoid blah, blah, blah. You get the point, right? Um, the video, you can select the background video that they have there, or you can upload your own background video, which I think would be the best way to go, especially if you're talking, for example, here, I'm talking about five tips about what you shouldn't do in Japan. So you want to have some Japan thing going on in the background, right? And the other one is this one, which is like a kind of Reddit. And this is what's going on. You can add the image, change the Reddit name and a handle here, all right? This you can't modify. Let's go for it. Uh, test. Heading to Japan. Avoid being rude by following these tips. Don't tip. It's not customary. OK, so you get the idea, right? So it's just read it in the beginning and the rest is just the same as this one on the left. One thing I will say I dislike it, it dislike is the if you have long words, they will get caught off, right? Another thing that I dislike is that, for example, if you add a video, which is a normal video, a 16 by nine, it will get chopped off in the end. So if, if everything is going on in the center, then you're good to go like this case. But if you have something going on on the sides, then it's going to get chopped off and you don't have the option to uh, move the video. All right. Now, those are the examples. Before I show you how to how this works, let me show you the lifetime deal. If you want to grab it, the link we provided in the description. And again, I'm not going to BS you. This is an honest review. So the 39 bucks is the lifetime deal. There's two lifetime deals that you can grab. One is plan one and plan two. Now, one thing that I dislike about it is that, oh, it, it, it got updated right now. OK, so it was one minute before and now it's one minute and 30 seconds. Now, it still might seem short, but it's way better than one minute because one minute, 30 seconds is fine for a short reel for Instagram stories, TikTok, etc. So that was improved, which I think is a great option. Um, with the plan one, you're going to get 20 videos per month, which could be more than enough, especially if you are just starting off with these type of videos. Maybe you have a secondary service where you kind of combine these videos in your new TikTok account, etc., which I think is fine. And the price is pretty low. 
thing that I hated is that it was less than a minute, but now it's a one minute, 30 seconds, which is a great improvement, right? And another thing that I will tell you that I dislike about this is that you are not going to get some of the features that are available on their pay plans, like the AI script and some of the things that they won't include. So make sure that the things that they include are the ones that you need, all right? And the plan two just gives you more videos. So 40 videos per month, which is a whole lot. I mean, that's more than one video per day if you have one account. So good option there, right? So pricing wise, I think it's a great price because basically it's low because it's a lifetime deal and you're going to get these replenished month per month, all right? So another thing that you have to consider is how it actually works. So when you're in the video section, you're going to view all the videos that you have and you can edit these, download them or delete them. Now, I will tell you that if you upload a video and you start working on it without downloading it, it will deduct a credit. So do consider that, right? So if you go to create a video, you're going to be greeted with these four templates. These are the ones available as of now, which I think is pretty fine, but you have to consider that they should be adding more in the future, right? Now, the AI video one, what example I see here is that it changes videos while it's going. In my test, it didn't change video, it just wrote read the script here with that particular video that I've selected, all right? So no video changing in between. So I'm not even going to go through this one because it's not worth doing it, all right? Create a new video. Split screen is the one that I showed you. So when you, one of the things you do is select one of these templates that they have available. For the background video, I think they should be adding more of these. These are just not enough, but you can upload your own, which I think is kind of, I don't know. I don't want to take the time to find some of these videos, so I wish the templates were a bit better but then again you can select one of these so for example it could be this satisfying one people will stick watching it while they view the other video so i'm going to select it select the language these are the languages that they have available as of now so not a whole lot of selection they have the main ones but not all of the languages right so i can choose a video file or upload a video url so let me grab this video that i used previously okay i'm going to paste it here i'm going to pull the video so in this case i don't have to upload the video it can grab it from a source like youtube here it is. We brought it in here and then we can select the, in this case, one minute, 30 seconds that we can use. Things that I dislike about it is these like uh, selector. If I don't select this and I try to generate it because this is a three minute video, I am going to get an error, which I think is pretty dumb, right? And then we have the option to select and it kind of gets a little clunky here. So for example, there, I put the two of them together. So I got to Got to decide where I want to grab this video. So in this case, I'm going to grab the video, I don't know, just there in between. And then it's telling me what the timing is here. Also, I can also type it in here if I want to select the timing. I don't know why it says AM here, which it shouldn't because it's not something that has to do with timing. So I think they have to edit this in the developer backend. I mean, that's not right. Okay, so it's a one minute and then I'm going to go with this a little bit less than a minute, all right? So I'm going to generate the video. It's going to do the process and it's going to it's going to take me to the editor part section. OK, so let's give it a few seconds. It's going to take me to the editor part section. So the video is going to be generated. I'm going to get an email. Let's jump into the next template while that's going on. OK, the next one I want to show you is the chat story, which I think is interesting. I'm going to select this video and then I can select the timing from the phone. So the what is this on the top? So I'll say 12 and a.m. The operator, I'll say AT&T. The recipient pick. Let me choose something that I can use. Okay, here's an image, All right? Whatever, just choosing that, I'll say Jorge, my name. And then I select the voice for Jorge. I have the option to select. allow the world to live. At but these are not normal. Logic will get you from what worries you Matt? be here now. I'll use Bill for this, which is my voice. The other one, which is I'll say Brianne in my younger and in my younger and life without love is like rather regret the thing. The world is round and the dreams come true. Okay, let's use Ellie template style, Instagram or Tinder. Let's use Tinder for this one. And then it's pretty easy how you can build this. I, I like this. All right. So, for example, Jorge is going to say something. He's going to say something again. And then the other one's going to respond again, respond, 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 etc. And then just type in the message here. All right. So blah, 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 blah. You have the option to add more here if you like in between. So that's a really good option. You don't have to delete and then add again and then go ahead and generate the video. All right. So I think it's pretty good. And then it's going to tell you the timing for this. In this case, I am not going to use this. I don't want to deduct the credit for this, but you can see how easy that was. And you saw the preview of the video. All right. 
So in this case, I do like that feature. So if you're creative, I'm sure you can get some views. Well, a lot of views if you create something that's interesting, funny, whatever with that. All right. The next one is the Reddit one, which I think is nothing special. It just shows Reddit in the beginning. And then the rest is just the script reading it out loud there. All right. So nothing fancy about it. Let's go back into videos. So let's go into edit one of these videos. OK, so let's edit one of these. Let's click on this one. And these are the options that you're going to get for the videos. All right. So it's going to start playing here. Avoid being rude by following these tips. OK, options you have font selection. You can't upload your own font on the bad side. Text format, uppercase, lowercase, capitalize everything. The style. Choose the style here for the color, the bold, italic, the size, the outline, the shadow, the speed and a watermark, right? And then you have your subtitle. So if you need to change something here because it was misspelled. So for example, it's a brand. It's obviously going to get misspelled if it's kind of like a real word and not. You can go ahead and update it here really easily. Let me pause this. You can upload it, update it here really easily. All right. So quit. It could be, I don't know, whatever. Click outside and it's going to update it in case it was wrong. And the audio. OK, so you can upload music, background music and the background volume and go ahead and download it. So in a sense, there's not a lot of editing going on here. So I think they should improve that, especially when it comes to the video where you upload a video here and you should have more flexibility on how that is located. So if I want to move it to the right or the left because I don't want it censored, then I should get those type of options. All right. And then I should have options to kind of replace this if I don't like the video I've selected for the background. Let's just say, you know what? Um, it doesn't make sense. I want to add a different type of video in the background and I should get those type of options. So basically right now, if you ask me if this is something that you should get, I definitely recommend that you first try it out. See if what they have right now is worth it to you. If not, go ahead and skip on it. For me, what's worth it? Like I said, I've seen videos like this uh, in the past and they do have a lot of views, a lot of engagement. It's a split screen and the chat history. If you make something interesting, you will get a lot of views with that. But if you ask me, I think they should really revamp the editor to make this more interesting and not add a whole lot more of templates. If they add a bunch of templates, I'll definitely say this is a must get. But for now, I think it's a check if you need this or not. But for the price, I think it's a steal. But if you don't like what you're going to get with the output, definitely skip on it. So at the end of the day, it depends on your use case. In my case, I'm going to keep it because I do plan someday to open up some channels where I don't necessarily kind of care so much. I would say for the type of content, I just want to try it out, see if it goes viral. So I am going to try these type of services to use in those channels. All right. So depends on your use case. Um, check it out. Lifetime deal. The link provided in the description is an affiliate link. So if you click on that link, it helps you out with a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more than what it already says there. Plus, there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. And that's a wrap.